Well, thank you. I'll join you and Chairman Tester, or I guess Chairman in my world, Chairman Tester, uh, in his comments about this, these nominees and the importance of long distance passenger service to the country. Uh, we worked together in the surface transportation reauthorization uh, bipartisan infrastructure package. We worked together to make certain that the composition of the board was uh, in, increased in, in uh, uh, diversity in regard to uh, long distance and city, city traffic, uh, urban and suburban. Uh, we made certain that the legislation now emphasizes the role of providing service to rural communities, recognize the importance of long distance routes, encourage Amtrak to maximize the benefits of federal investment as opposed to minimizing the costs. Uh, we have worked hard in this committee to make certain that Amtrak is a national system. And it is uh, my intention again to try to make certain that the nominees before us today share that view. Um, and I am disappointed a bit in the response that I received or that several of us received from you in regard to your commitment to long distance passenger service. I was fortunate enough to walk in the room when uh, Mr. Coos was uh, giving his opening statement and he said what I wanted to hear. Uh, we ask each of you if you would confirm your support for long distance passenger service. You did so jointly. We did this in the last set of nominees and it was done individually, which uh, appealed to me more than a prepared statement that each of you signed. Uh, I would demonstrate uh, what I was looking for by Mr. Coos's letter uh, in, in the last time this request was made. Uh, Senator Moran, I am writing to reaffirm my commitment to service on all Amtrak long distance routes. Uh, he goes on to say long distance routes are critical for maintaining connectivity with our country. These routes are also econ an economic anchor for hundreds of communities. If confirmed to the Amtrak board, I will remain committed to restoring once a day service for long distance routes affected by COVID-19 pandemic. We cannot maintain a fully functioning national network that only operates three days a week. A reduction of service will create uncertainty for both Amtrak employees and customers. I look forward to working together with you and your office to support long distance routes in the future. The joint letter that you all signed, including Mr. Coos, says basically we share your commitment to long distance train service. Uh, we will continue to ensure Amtrak follows all applicable laws pertaining to long distance trains. Uh, we, with, with continued annual funding from Congress, we look forward to an improved long distance service of which we all can be proud. I see a significant difference in what Mr. Coos was willing to say and what you all were willing to say jointly. One is said much more emphatically and much more direct, much more with specificity. And so I would again ask you uh, to explain to me individually, what is your commitment to long distance service, uh, including the Southwest Chief, uh, which runs through many of our states? Mr. Capelzi. Sure. Um, thank you for the question, and I understand the importance of long distance service, and I value all the train service that Amtrak provides, including long distance service, the state supported service in the Northeast Corridor, and I share your commitment to long distance train service um, that's accessible to everybody. Thank you. Uh, Senator, let, let, me, let me begin by saying uh, I wasn't aware of the distinction between Mr. Kuse's statement the last time he was at this committee and, and what we submitted this time. Um, I, I, I would not want you to sort of uh, send me a pen across the way, but I would gladly sign on to verbatim the exact same statement. And so I don't need to sort of repeat it to show you the emphasis of it. But I'll also tell you that my experience as Amtrak has proven the absolute sort of importance of everything that you've just said. The, the Amtrak's mission is to preserve that national network. It, it is a treasure in the na nation's transportation system, and the anchor of that treasure are those long distance lines. They are the connective tissue that Amtrak is building the future of passenger rail from. When we talk about increased demand for state-supported services and other things, they all build off of that. Our experience in working with you on the Southwest Chief has been incredibly important to the company to sort of reaffirm its need to work with all its stakeholders to maintain the national network in its present form and to expand upon it. And that means to protect the existing 
uh, long distance lines and to look for ways to expand the ridership and opportunities that those afford us. So we are absolutely with no hesitation willing to make that commitment. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, perhaps I was overly uh, skeptical in the position I occupy, but I, words matter uh, to all of us. And I wanted to make sure that there was no parsing, no hesitation, no simply filling out a letter, signing a letter to satisfy uh, my concerns and the concerns of many others on this committee and in Congress. And your statement is very helpful. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Koos, you do not need to speak further unless you uh, feel compelled. Well, I, I would just say I'd encourage people, uh, an eye opener for me <clears throat> was to take a map of the national system and take um, the long distance routes off of that map and see what kind of system you have. It's a, quite a bit of an eye opener. Uh, being in, in a uh, rural central uh, United States community, I r totally understand the need for that long distance system. I was awakened to the realization that not everyone shares that view when at one point in time Amtrak's position was that we should replace train passenger service with bus service from a point in Kansas to a point in New Mexico and consider that as part of the uh, national passenger rail service. Uh, Mr. Latham. Committed. Thank you. Ms. Weissman. Well, I want to say that I uh, agree with um, my endorsement and support of it and would also be happy to sign the letter that you referred to. Um, from my professional background, I have seen um, most of the country and recognize that rail service is not only essential for our national transportation, but it's also an economic opportunity and an economic imperative. So I'm in full support of long distance rail. Thank you. The chairwoman has her finger on the button. Mm -hmm. I would only follow up and conclude without asking a question. I'm very interested in what transpired in the fatals, fatal accident that occurred in Missouri on the Southwest Chief, and I would welcome any additional information that you all could provide. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you.